In this video, we will look at a few examples to practice working with double line graphs. Example A, Thomas and Abby are training for the cross country meet at their school. Both students are in the 100 yard dash. The coach asks them to race 500 yards and time each 100 yard interval. The following graph represents the times for both Thomas and Abby for each of the five 100 yard intervals. And we can see our graph right here. Now we're going to have some questions. Part A, who won the race and how do you know? Well, if we're trying to think about who won the race, we're looking at the end result over here. And we have time is our x-axis. So we we'll want to think about who got the, to the far distance in the shorter amount of time. And they were pretty close, but I can see that Thomas was first and then Abby came up right after Thomas. So Thomas won the race. All right, part B. Between what times did Thomas appear to slow down? How do you know? So when we're talking about slowing down, we're talking about the speed. And the speed in a distance time graph is represented by the slope of the line. So we're looking for when did Thomas, the blue line, have a slope that seemed to decrease. And looking at the graph, it looks like that's about right here. The slope is definitely less than it is, for example, right here or right here. He starts to speed up again. So I would say that's between 20 seconds and 40 seconds that he appeared to slow down. All right, part C. What times was Abby ahead of Thomas? How do you know? So to be ahead means that the pink line or the red line was above the blue line. And we can see that happened for a bunch of the time, actually, even though Thomas ended up ultimately winning. That happened right here. And here, she's still above here until about right here where their lines intersected. It's hard to tell at the beginning of the race, but Abby was actually slightly ahead. The pink line is slightly above Thomas's line all the way from the beginning up until about maybe 57 seconds right here where the two lines intersect and Thomas comes ahead. So between zero seconds and 57 seconds approximately. And at what time did Thomas pass Abby? Well, that was at 57 seconds where there are two lines intersected. And we could see that after that point right here, Thomas's line was above Abby's. So that means he was getting to the distances before she was. Now let's go to example C, where we'll actually practice making a double line graph. Nicholas and Jordan went on holidays with their families. They decided to monitor the mileage they traveled by keeping track of the time and distance they were on the road. The boys collected the following data. So we have Nicholas at each time, which is a different hour, how far he's gone. And below that we have the similar data for Jordan. So what we're gonna do is make a double line graph. First, we can do Nicholas's line and then Jordan's. So to make the double line graph, you're going to plot each of these pieces of data as points, where time is our x-axis and distance is our y-axis. So first on our graph, we can set it up for time in hours and distance in miles. and then start to plot the points. So the first point that we'll plot for Nicholas is 160 and then 2, 110. So 160 would be about right here, 2, 110 is about right here, and I'll continue to plot the rest of the points. So all of those blue points are for Nicholas, so I'm going to connect them since he was moving over time. This is a continuous line graph. 
And because we're going to have two different lines on this graph, we should label each line so that we don't get mixed up. Now we need a second line for Jordan. And he started out at the same place, but then after the first hour, he was at 50 miles. At the second hour, he was at 90, and so on. We'll keep plotting those points. Okay, there we go. And now the question said, what conclusions could you draw by looking at the graphs? So you could say a bunch of things. You could say Nicholas went further than Jordan. We can see that by the fact that he ended up further away than Jordan did. You could also say that Nicholas was traveling faster than Jordan. You could say that Jordan stopped at this point right here. There was no movement, whereas it didn't appear that Nicholas ever stopped. All of those things are things you can see by looking at this double line graph. One advantage of the double line graph is that you can actually compare these two sets of data pretty easily because you can see it visually as, a pair, as opposed to when it's in the table, it's a little bit harder to compare sometimes.